This is Jellyfish Lake, a marine lake that can be found on Eli Molk Island in Palau. Palau itself is situated in the subregion of Micronesia, east of the Philippines and north of the island of New Guinea. Palau is made up of around 340 islands, and many of these are located in the southern portion of the country, where the rock islands can be found, containing Eli Molk Island and Jellyfish Lake. Now, as the name suggests, Jellyfish Lake is full of jellyfish, or was full, but we'll get onto that later. There are two types of jellyfish in the lake, the golden jelly and the moon jelly, with the golden jellyfish being the one you see when tourists take photos in the lake. So how did the jellyfish filled lake come about? It is believed that the marine lakes on Palau's islands were formed when rainwater and decaying leaf litter mixed and became acidic, eroding the limestone islands, creating deep bowls in some of them. Then, about 12,000 years ago, as the Holocene period began, marking the end of the Ice Age, the sea level around Palau's islands rose and filled the eroded valleys and bowls, forming these marine lakes. The golden jellyfish are unique to Jellyfish Lake. They are closely related to the spotted jellyfish that live in nearby marine lakes, but have evolved over time due to their isolation in Jellyfish Lake. The golden jellyfish do sting, but it is so weak that it cannot be felt by humans, allowing tourists to swim amongst the swarm. Since the jellyfish have no natural predators in the lake, it is thought that a powerful sting is not necessary, and no natural predators also helps to explain why the jellyfish population has, over time, reached over 8 million. Whilst the moon jellies in the lake float around like most typical jellyfish, the golden jellyfish follow the path of the sun, which feeds the algae that they then consume. Whilst the jellyfish may have a seemingly easy life, sunbathing and eating, they face a big problem. El Nino, the warming of the eastern and central Pacific Ocean that occurs in cycles, and a drought occurred simultaneously in 2016, causing the jellyfish population to dwindle. The lake has been closed for well over a year now, as the government tries to allow the population to rebuild, and there is hope. When El Nino arrived in 1998, the jellyfish population in the lake dropped to almost zero, but managed to recover to pre-decline levels by 2002. So hopefully, this time, the population can recover in four years, and be back by 2020. However, there is more uncertainty surrounding this decline. With climate change warming the waters and changing environmental conditions, the jellyfish may struggle to recover. So if you ever needed an excuse to help prevent climate change, then you've got the best one of them all. To help bring back some jellyfish on the other side of the world in a small island lake in a small chain of islands belonging to a small island country. Because seriously, why would you ever want to get rid of the opportunity to experience this?